I'm Jake Uger. I'm Jake Uger of the Young Turks. Of the Young Turks. I have an announcement. I have an announcement tonight. Tonight we're going to. We're going to start a fight. Start a fight to take back. To take back our democracy. Our democracy. In Vermont, we were told that it was impossible in the Senate side by an ally of ours who meant well. She just said you don't have enough senators on the Democratic side to be able to push everything through committee, let alone win on the Senate floor. Uh, but actually, we did win on the Senate floor, and it was because uh, volunteers from all across the country called in to constituents in Vermont, which then called their state reps and senators. Again, really hard work, but they did that hard work, and it worked. And on the Senate side, it passed 25 to 2. And that's what was called impossible before. In fact, it was overwhelming, right? Now, dramatic news. It has just passed the Vermont House. First state on the board. This resolution, I believe, is actually just pushing us forward into the opportunity to continue to voice our opinions as Americans when our own government is, is faulty. Our committee asks you to join us in taking this bold step. And yes, I do think this country listens to Vermont, little Vermont. I was here when we passed civil unions, the proudest moment of my life in this, in this body. And look now, civil unions, huh? That's passe. Vermont does lead, and they do listen to us. Close to 70 Wolfpack volunteers showed up there and said, we're here to tell you that the citizens of California want to get money out of politics. <laughs> the, the senator who was in charge of that committee said at the end, after over 60 people testified in favor, is there anyone who dares to oppose this resolution? <laughs> okay, apparently there wasn't. It passed five to two. Now, today, it goes to the full Senate. State number two, 23 to 11. <laughs> two down, 32 to go. No, no, no. Tell me it's impossible again. <laughs> oh, I love to hear. Let me tell you how this happened in California. And by the way, California, just the largest state in the union. That's all. Okay, and we're just getting warmed up. Suddenly we put up Vermont on the board, which literally someone told us that was involved in Vermont politics was, quote, impossible, right? So all of a sudden we had our brave little state of Vermont who stepped up to the plate as they usually do, and they said, that's okay, you can't get a big state. And all of a sudden we put California up on the board, and that was state number two. I believe that's a fairly large state. Now, we're on to the state of Illinois. I've told you a couple of things about them. Now, remember, we already had uh, the resolution calling for the convention passed in the Senate in Illinois. So did we get it? Boom, 72 to 40. By the skin of our teeth. But guess what? The third state to call for a convention. Here comes the great state of Illinois. We're going to Vermont, we're going to California, we're going to Illinois! Oh, wear me out, man. Let me say all 34 states on one show. <laughs> Look at that map. I remember when that map didn't have any shining states. Now we have three that are on the board. So any effort to overturn Citizen United is one that I feel I must support. I would prefer the federal Congress to decide to offer an amendment through the states that would overturn Citizen United. They don't seem likely to do it at this point, but it is fair to say that in the past, many times when a, a proposal like this reaches a critical number of states supporting it, Congress wakes up, smells the coffee, and does the right thing. Here we go again. Uh, now, Wolfpack uh, has, of course, taken it upon itself to get us a constitutional amendment to get money out of politics so that we could end the system of corruption and legalized bribery that we have and get free and fair elections. Wouldn't that be amazing if our representatives represented us? So, uh, we were, of course, told that this was impossible, but we got Vermont on the board, and then they said, yeah, it's a small state. Then we got California on the board. That's a fairly large state. They said, okay, but you only have two on the coast, so then we got Illinois. 
Uh, and then we were told, oh, well, that's okay, you did that in last year, but this year you're not going to get any further, except last year we got it introduced in 10 states, this year we've got it introduced in 19 states. And what's going on there? That looks like New Jersey is on the graphic there. Well, let's go uh, to the voting in New Jersey on our resolution. Now, it's already passed the Senate, and uh, now it's in the Assembly. Let's have that, see how that voting goes, or do we get more yeses than noes? I believe uh, that is another state on the board. That is state number four. They said it couldn't be done. Yet we keep rolling throughout the country. I want to show you a video of the historic moment in New Jersey. Mr. Speaker, SCR 132 has received 44 votes in affirmative, 25 in the negative, and two abstentions. Senate concurrent resolution 132 having received 44 votes in the affirmative, 25 votes in the negative, and two abstentions. I declare the resolution passed. Let the resolution take the usual course of passed resolutions. Back in consent, fill in the clerk's desk. So four states have already done it, and now we were in Rhode Island. And I told you recently that the House had passed the resolution. Uh, it was H.R. 7670, and it passed 59 to 12. It was overwhelming. And I praised a lot of those legislators. I'm going to praise them again in a second. But look, you need both houses. You don't need the governors, but you do need a house, and you need the Senate in each state. And sometimes we've gotten very close to some states, gotten one of the chambers and not the other. In Rhode Island, we then at the end of last week, went to the Senate. And the Senate bill number was SR2589. And the vote was 36 yes, zero no. Rhode Island is your fifth state. Fifth state to come on board. We did it. We did it in Rhode Island. Because remember what Senator Joshua Miller said. There's no clapping from the audience. We can't have it. Look at what happens instead here. The first senator you're going to see is James Sheehan, and then you'll see all the others are late. Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd just like to commend my colleague, Senator Miller, on this a very important issue. Uh, we're moving, unfortunately, ever increasingly in a direction of instead of having elections, they're becoming auctions. And I think we need to address this very serious situation. And I thank all those who came up and, and demonstrated. It does make a difference, and I encourage you to stay involved. Thank you, Mr. President. I also uh, want to second this resolution. I want to commend those hardworking individuals up in the gallery. Those are the same individuals that have been here, here, here with us for many months and have holding those yellow signs for the last three days. And again, I commend you for your hard work, both here in the Senate and on the House. And I too join uh, Senator Miller and all our colleagues, but especially to the advocates that have been here uh, day in and day out. The Wolf Pack is a, is a movement that uh, is going throughout the country, and I congratulate them for their efforts and in getting involved, especially many of you who, for the first time, uh, showed up, and now you're seeing how you're making a difference. So stay involved, and I hope uh, everything goes well. Thank you. Thank you very much. As chairman of the uh, Special Legislation Committee, I know these individuals very well. They've been here for the last couple of years uh, testifying. Uh, they've always been very professional. They've done an outstanding job yeah, of presenting their case. The 35, 36 in the affirmative, none in the negative. The item yeah. passes. Congratulations upstairs. <laughs> Senate... <laughs> The senators applauded their constituents. I have literally never seen that in my life, in all these decades of covering politics. <sighs> We've got 30,000 volunteers, grassroots volunteers, all across the country, and then they activate other volunteers within their states, and they work so hard. You think this happened overnight? You think this was just the one thing they showed up one day or one week? No, those guys, uh, those volunteers on the ground have been working for two years straight. We didn't pass last year. We passed this year. We didn't get discouraged by, uh, it, the, the, we didn't have instant gratification. No, we redoubled our efforts. Justin, you were there. Uh, how, how did that feel? Uh, I was extremely emotional. Um, the last two years has been like really difficult. I put a lot on the line for this. Many of us put a lot, a, a lot on the line for this. You know, we have folks who work you know, who, I mean, Greg, big swag, he's a, he's a father to newborn, but anytime we needed him at the statehouse, he would be there. 
And you know, <laughs> you know, I have a girlfriend. He has a wife, and it's hard to say, "Hey, do you mind if we just take a couple hours and we'll be at the state house to to uh, get this uh, up and uh, up and going?" But that was a very surreal moment. All, uh, we put our hearts and soul into this uh, movement, and to see the fruit of our la labor just uh, really make make it a reality it was it was just a really uh, wonderful moment. Um, but I mean, I, watching that, I got goosebumps. <laughs> Belinda Depina. Vera Duneau, Joe Gomez, Mike Lamptey, Nikki Morris, Cameron Ramsey, Sam Newland, Matt Mazzola. In your state, your name could be on that list. And this list lives forever.